When David Renz was arrested last month for the murder of Lori Bresnahan and the rape of a 10-year-old girl, it wasn't the first time he's been accused of a sex crime, but few people knew about it. As we reported exclusively, a woman who wishes to remain anonymous says Renz and an accomplice sexually molested her in 1999 when she was nine years old. Because Renz was 15 at the time, the case was handled in family court and the records were sealed. Yesterday, prosecutors complained that not even they can easily get their hands on sealed juvenile records. There's no reason in the world why the DA's office State police, U.S. attorney, should jump through hoops to find out about what somebody did when they were the precious age of 14, 15, or, or 16. Had federal prosecutors known about Renz's juvenile record, they might have made the case to prevent him from being released on home confinement while awaiting trial on child pornography possession. As it turns out, police say Renz cut off his electronic monitoring ankle bracelet hours before the murder and rape. You know, should those juvenile records be automatically unsealed so that prior to a hearing of this nature, a judge and everybody has a full awareness of the, the situation? Jim, that's a good question and one perhaps that the state legislature should take up. After conferring with the DA's office, State Senator John DeFrancisco confirmed today he will draft legislation to change procedures for unsealing juvenile records of accused sex offenders. He talked with me by phone from Albany. Sex offenses are different animals in that very rarely uh, is anybody, very few people believe that sex offenders are somehow rehabilitated. It, 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 it's something that continues indefinitely. Right now, DeFrancisco thinks that this change in procedures should only involve sex offenses. So if a person is arrested for a sex offense, a prosecutor could simply contact the family court clerk to find out if he has a juvenile record involving a sex offense. And if he does, those records could be unsealed immediately. If that juvenile record was known that there was a sexual offense in the past, uh, maybe the, the federal judge in this particular case would have not put this man on release, home release uh, uh, with his bracelet.